Gong practice 150. Today is Friday, November. No, it's not November. It's September 4th. I don't want to skip two months. <laughs> this year's already going fast enough, right? It's September 4th. Friday, September 4th, 2020. Why did I say November? Yesterday I did it as well and I had to restart my video three times because I kept saying November. And then today I say, say it again, but I'm not going to restart it. Whatever. Whatever said is said. It is September 4th, Friday, September 4th, 2020, currently 8.42 for me. Gong practice at night. I know yesterday's video I said I was going to do it first thing this morning, but this morning when I got up, my body said, go back to sleep, sleep a little bit more. And then I got up and did yoga, hour and a half of yoga, amazing yoga. Just really awesome class. Just really, teacher's amazing. Instructor's amazing, my guide, totally amazing, constantly pushing, not in a bad way, knowing that I can do better, and showing me ways to be better, and I just feel it, I just, I feel great, I, it's like the greatest to be completely present in the moment, and it really sets a good pace for the day, so yoga in the morning's great, I should probably do yoga every day, um, I should probably do that, I'm gonna start that soon. I don't know when, but soon I should. Um, yeah, because it's just right state of mind. Like after yoga, just had a little bit of work to do and uh, being really present today, taking care of stuff, not not letting my, my mind wander too much. Did some work on a shed, started at 1 p.m., worked until 7 o'clock, got the, I had to do some, it's all just construction stuff, but I just do some cutting on the roof. To, I let in some boards on the seams to make it stronger, better, and then got the roof all sheeted and barge rafters and fascia on and tar papered it. Did it all um, in like five hours. Oh, back's a little sore. Honestly, but it still feels good to do what I do and uh, have fun doing it. And uh, but I don't know, like after I was done, I just sat down, I ate some dinner, and I sat down, my right knee just like a little bit of a pool in it, like a little something's not right, I don't know what it is, a little bit of issue in the right knee, but I will just put some energy towards it and see if I can make that thing just heal itself because it can because this body's amazing so we'll see what I can do and maybe the sounds will help me so I'm gonna play for some healing sounds today always love is my intention but today it's me love and healing vibrations let's put healing out there let's we need some more healing in life I think just everybody needs a little more love they need a more you know, we just need positivity there's so much hate out there gosh it's just like I don't understand but it's not, it's not up to me to understand it, to other people's realities that they want to be in. What you focus on grows. So if you want to focus on all the negativity in the world, there's going to be more negativity because you're putting, you're feeding it. Focus on the solutions, not the problems. The solutions. You don't want any hate in the world. Love. That's the answer. It's pretty simple. Don't, don't put hate out there. People do something to you that you don't like, don't do it to somebody else. It's that simple. Do unto others as you want done unto yourself, right? And then people don't listen to that. It's so ridiculous, I think. It's just basic little things, but we're in this... So many people are in this made-up world. It's all made up. Everybody's in a made-up world, I guess, really, but... If people just see what it is, then know that we're just these beings, these bodies, these human bodies to experience this experience but inside we're just energy just light beings just infinite we're forever and so there's really nothing to worry about just live and exist and not just exist though i mean you have to live and help 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 any way you can anybody you can and the world will be better. Everybody can help somebody. If 
everybody's helping, then nobody is in need anymore. Simple things, so simple. But today, like I said, I'm playing for healing, playing for love, just playing for everybody. Just make some positive sounds out there. Don't know what it's going to be. Who knows? I just sometimes go in my own mind and start listening to these thoughts. Or if they're even my thoughts, I don't even know whose thoughts they are. So I just start, I don't know, it's part of awareness, I guess, is contemplating what the words are coming out and seeing whose words they really are. Are they my words? My mouth's just rum rambling on with free-flowing thoughts, but are the thoughts my thoughts? Am I aware of the thoughts or not? I must be aware of them if I'm saying these words. So then these are my actions, not the actions of somebody else. But they could be. Man. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, um, I'm going to start playing the gong and uh, bring sounds to everybody, whoever is on this whoever's listening. I appreciate your time. And I don't know why I'm saying and a lot. See, it's being aware of what I'm saying, of what's being said, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Um, shouldn't say um. I recommend eyes closed, lying down, noise canceling headphones if you have them and just focus on your breath. You can breathe any way you like to breathe. I have my own breathing technique that I can share as I do every single day unless I don't, which isn't every single day because it's a few times I didn't share it so I can't say every single day because that's lying. So it's being aware that the words that are coming out of my mouth aren't really, it's not truthful. I call myself out. So I'm not really calling myself out. I'm calling out whatever it is that's saying the words that aren't true. Probably a form of ego for some reason still. Gotta squash it. Be aware. Be present. <clears throat> I just need presence in my life right now. Just being present. <sighs> present with the breath. Present with the body. present with the energy within, present with the light, present with the love, so focus on your breath how you like, my way I do, <laughs> it's a funny way to say it, um, I inhale through my nose and I imagine my breath as a white light and as I'm inhaling through my nose the white light goes up the top of my head, travels down my spine, fills my belly, then it fills my chest, fully expanding my cavity with light, with the breath, with the energy that we're breathing that we all need and I pause for a moment and then as I exhale I force it down my chest, out of my, down my out of my belly, tightening my abs to get a physical connection to the breath, leaving the body. The breath goes up, but the compressed light goes down the spine, tailbone, legs, and feet. So you visualize that light going down and charging your whole entire body. So you're inhaling that energy. That energy is charging your everything. It's charging your head. Then it goes down your your spine into your into your abdomen, your chest, and it's just expanding. Then it'll travel into your arms, and then as you exhale, you're compressing that light and forcing it down your legs and feet. So your your whole body is getting charged with the breath. And it simply is just visualizing. You just think about it. Oh, the white, the light's traveling to my arm. The light's traveling to my leg. It's that simple. It's all I got to do. Think like that, and then boom, there it goes. It happens. I mean, some people think it's so hard to visualize, and because they put too much effort into it, but there's not. There's no effort needed. You just say that's what it is, and then you'll you'll see it. It'll happen. It just takes practice, that's all. Practice as you will, however you want to breathe, you breathe. But focus on your breath, accept the sounds as they come, don't fight them, don't, don't resist them, whatever may come about, let the sounds move through you because they are moving, they're moving energy, they're going to help realign things, help things flow better. And it does, you can Google it, YouTube or Google, whatever it is. I say this a few times, but you might not have watched those videos, so look into Sound Journey, Blood Cells, 
or sound bath blood cells or something like that type that into YouTube or Google and you'll see these videos of blood cells before and after sound journey how they free flow afterwards because the sound helps them get re back to their purpose right and that's what we need to all be is we're energy beings and our energy if it's not flowing properly we're not working properly so we need to realize that we need to stay hydrated make sure you're drinking plenty of water and I recommend I drink every single day Conga 9.5 water because I want to keep myself in an alkaline state I want to keep myself in the best state I can be because then sickness does not occur to this body because it doesn't because I, I, per, I put in good water into me healthy water I'm not drinking acidic things I'm not decreasing my pH balance I'm trying to run trying to just be the best so many amazing things about the conga mission that's a totally different side note the whole point is drink water stay hydrated or energy being sorry i just drift off into sometimes my mind just goes wherever it goes or whatever mind it is and then i have to be come back to it so it's probably what it is is the mind wandering is the ego taking it off and then going on to the conga trip to just explain more about all this other stuff that this body knows to somehow share with all you know all the knowledge as if it's a bragging thing to say look at all this stuff i know but then i'm aware of those things being said i'm like stop talking damn just stop talking and play the fucking gong right that's what we're saying like jesus i came here to listen to a sounder and all you're doing is flapping your fucking lips i know i apologize apologize for cursing too i mean that's what i usually do all the time but i try not to on the video because i don't know who's watching but whatever it just came out i'm not editing my video because i honestly this is like the third attempt because i started the first two and i had to stop because i said them things i didn't want to say i'm like ah damn and now i'm like you know what guess what it's already 11 minutes deep i'm not going to edit this stuff so it is what it is so thank you for listening to the journey i will start playing in a moment and then i'll wake you up when it's done that's how it's going to work the healing sounds love Abundance. Peace for everybody. Thank you. Breathe.
Slowly bring your awareness back to yourself, taking a nice deep breath in through your nose. <sighs> Letting it all out, wiggling your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, whatever it is you need to do to come back into yourself, do that. Just a moment to appreciate the being present, present with the sounds and letting them do what they did. Hopefully it was in a good experience for you. For me, it was great. I enjoyed it as I always do and that's why I play every day because I enjoy it if I didn't enjoy it I wouldn't do it and I'm just trying to get better but I mean I do enjoy things so that's why I'm doing it I don't know what's going on right now like the invisible bugs have bit me or something I have no idea <laughs> like I don't know it's got these little itchy spots all over and I have no idea anyway that's uh that's currently what's going on in my life trying to be present why my legs are itchy so, uh, weird. Sorry, I'm distracted about that. I shouldn't be, but I am. So, um, if you want to, uh, share whatever you experience, please feel, feel free to do so below. The best way to, to, uh, help others remember what they may have experienced is to share what you experience, and, you know, that's what we can do is just share stuff. There's nothing wrong with 
sharing our experiences. I think that's why we're here on this planet, is to realize that we're all the same, just looking through a different set of eyes and seeing reality in different ways. But we're all connected to the same source, just reporting back to whatever it is we came from, maybe, perhaps. Or it's all complete nonsense. That's quite possible as well, excuse me, because I don't know if that was quite a perp, probably part a little bit of one, and shouldn't be doing that either. Man, this video, pretty rough today, pretty rough. Oh well. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm not rewinding it. I'm not editing because I don't have time to do any of that. I just got to get this going. So I'm going to share the five principles of Reiki because I do that every single day. The five principles of Reiki are just for today. I will not anger. Just for today. I will not worry. Just for today. I'll be grateful. Just for today. I'll be kind to others. And just for today, I'll focus on my work. And I believe I did all those today. So I feel great. And I feel great every day. Even if I don't do them. If I don't do them, then I remember, you know, I catch myself, that's what it is. If I feel myself getting angry or something coming up to bother me or I start thinking of a worry thought or whatever, then I'm like, oh no, just for a day I'm not worrying. Just for a day I'm not getting angry. I just tell myself that and then I don't get angry. It's all a choice. Life's a choice. Everything you do is a choice. And it's your choice, nobody else's choice. Understand that. Set yourself free. Um, do good. Somebody's honking their horn. Help others. Be nice. Be kind. This is a VHT, VHS tape. You re rewind it. Be kind. Rewind. Man, some things will just never leave my brain. Um, yeah, anyway. New video coming tomorrow. Thank you very much for listening. Hopefully this sounds like something for you. Sorry for me being all spacey today. It's just life. It's just what it is. I don't need to really apologize, it's just me and this is video is mine, it doesn't really matter because it's me just talking to a camera, really, so... Anyway, um... Yeah. Laugh more, love more, and smile more. Help other people, be nice. It's really easy, just love people. Love.